Welcome back. There's an honor program at Wayne State University aimed at bringing the media industry the next round of well-trained professionalism. It's called the Journalism Institute for Media Diversity, and the director, Alicia Nails, is here to tell us all about the program. First and foremost, thanks so much for coming on with Happy us this morning. Happy to be morning. here and talk about our industry. We're yeah, excited. we're so glad to have you. Tell us overall about the Institute. How did it get started? So it's 40 years old. 40 years ago, Ben Burns, who was the executive editor at the Detroit News, brought over Luther Keith from the Detroit News. Many people know him from Arise Detroit, so he's the founding director. And the goal was to find honor students who wanted to major in journalism at Wayne State. And at that time, every student was on full scholarship. So now we have scholarship opportunities, some students still on full scholarship. Mm. Wow. Once in that program, what can students expect? How hands-on is it? How similar is it to real life, real industry, their careers? So our students intern beginning their first term. Sometimes they start at the student newspaper. Okay. So so by the time they graduate, they've been exposed to national programs like Dow Jones, where that places some of our students at the New York Times, Indianapolis mm -hmm. Star. They've been selected at some of the major conventions, National Association of Black Journalists, National Association of Hispanic Journalists. So our students are routinely selected for the national programs for summer placements. They work in every newsroom in this city. That's the beauty of going to Wayne State and some of the other uh, schools that are not in the city of Detroit. That's one of the things that we give. We're also a Wayne State learning community and that's the concept of having a cohort to work together with and everybody's majoring in journalism so we all have the same ethos, the same goals, the same experience. We go to professional events all around the city because whenever students want journalism, stu whenever professionals want journalism students, they always contact Wayne State's Journalism Institute for Media Diversity. Yeah, Ooh, can you feel her passion on this? I can feel. So, I like send yeah. me back to school. <laughs> now, is, is the program only for journalism majors? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're we're high on journalism. We we tell, you know that's our ethos. Um, journalism minors we're, we're looking at accepting as well. Okay. And you know, content providers are now. Well, uh, some of our students intern uh, at the university in the nursing school. Um, they intern turn in uh, communication departments of corporations. So we really have um, some, you know, it's not public relations, but it is uh, advocacy communication. That's wonderful. I love looking at these photos on our screens right now. Any notable alumni? You know, we are proud that Jamila Robinson, who is one of, you know, of course we have alumni going back 40 years. Yeah. She has just been named the first black editor-in-chief of Bon Appetit. Wow. Hmm. The Condé Nast publication where she talked directly, you know, with, uh, uh, you know, the, the 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 highest, highest of journalism in order to get hired. Yeah. yeah. Editor-in-chief is no joke. Very, yeah. very, very <laughs> impressive. impressive. So. so how can someone join if they want to? So as long as you're a um, student at Wayne State University okay. majoring in journalism, they should contact us. We're on the fifth floor of Manoogian Hall. But even students coming out of high school, if you're looking at the journalism career, which is a thriving career, people want to talk about journalism is dying. It is absolutely not. Mediated content providing with fact-checking from a new neutral or as much as possible point of view or even advocacy journalism because as you know a lot of journalism journalists when they leave they go into uh, public relations or advocacy we have a, a students who've gone to the ACLU all the corporations in town we have students at all the big three who went through journalism and they took it to a different type of content providing advocacy for a corporation or an entity or a nonprofit. So as long as students are at Wayne State and they want to major in journalism, they can apply to the Journalism Institute for Media Diversity. Very oh impressive God. and the possibilities are endless. They are. Woo. We just had your information on the screen. <laughs> okay. Alicia Nails, thank you so much thank for you. being with us. Thank you. Appreciate